Hello everyone and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Arafilis. The game I played the most last year has got to be Overwatch. I love the characters and their design, and I immediately thought that action figures had to be made. I really enjoyed Fima Tracer, and one of my favorite figures of all time is the DX9 K1 Freeman, aka Bastion. So now that Genji is released, the question is, is he an excellent addition to your Overwatch collection? Let's find out in this toy review of Figma Genji from Overwatch. Like most of my reviews, I like to start out with the negatives. Upon opening this figure, I found that the upper leg armor pieces get in the way of properly posing him to do a sidekick. While it is nice that these armor pieces are soft plastic so that he can do a kick, they still hinder you from doing a proper sidekick. The way around this is to roll his leg to the side like so in order to move the armor to activate the kick. To me though, it looks kinda weird with the armor to the side like that. And the last negative I have is his shoulder joints are not hidden well and stick out when not posed properly. Figma Tracer did not have this problem. I can understand why he is like that though. If you want the best detail and the best posability, some design sacrifices must be made. And when all is said and done, I gotta say, I think Figma did a fine job in bringing Genji to life in an action figure. I absolutely love the armor, the paint applications, the metallic paint on his mask, the swords, and his overall look would make any Genji main throw money at Blizzard and Figma to have this figure on their shelf. I would also like to point out the um, ribbon hair scarf thing. It's really cool and a nice touch, but what is it? Scarf, hair, ribbon, I honestly don't know. Let me know down in the comments down below. I would also like to point out the little details in his armor, like the green accents, the little dents in his armor, and the Japanese characters on the midsection look fantastic and shows Figma's attention to detail. Despite this figure's design flaws, I gotta say he looks amazing, and Figma had to work around these design flaws to deliver a great looking action figure. Looking at scale, he stands at almost 6 inches tall, and here he is standing next to Figma Tracer, DX9 Bastion, Figma Solid Snake, Figure Arts Captain America, and Marvel Legends Iron Man. As you can see, he scales really well with these other figures. Looking at articulation, he has an up and down at the toe, up and down at the ankle, bend at the knee, thigh rotation, ball joint at the leg, two joints at the midsection, dual shoulder joints which give you good range of motion, the bicep swivel is hindered by his armor so you cannot fully rotate his bicep, but it's still there, bend at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist, two joints at the neck, joint at the scarf hair, and two joints at the sword sheets giving you a total of about 25 points of articulation. Like I said before, his armor hinders some of his movement, but for the most part, there are ways around these hindrances. Dragon Blade, Wakizashi, Shuriken Holding Hand, Shuriken Hand Effect Piece, Stand, and 7 Extra Hands is what you get with this figure. First, let's look at the Dragon Blade. It looks amazing, with its metallic black and neon green accents and looks awesome. Also the handle and the sheath of the dragon blade can be removed so it looks like he has one dragon blade. The wakizashi looks really great as well, with a beautiful silver finish on the blade. And much like the Dragon Blade, the handle on the sheath can be removed as well 
as a separate piece. Posing him with his swords looks so cool and looks very video game accurate. Looking at the shuriken hand, it looks good as you can see here, but when you put the effect hand piece on, wow, I love the way this looks. I am so glad Finman decided to add this piece and totally completes this figure and adds a lot to your posing options. The stand you get with him is always a welcome addition and holds him well. Lastly, the extra hands are all great and adds to your overall options for posing. In conclusion, I wish Figma made Overwatch characters two at a time, as I fear the popularity of Overwatch is falling and the need for these figures may fall as well. Because Figma makes amazing Overwatch figures and found ways to make great articulated figures despite their complex design that can hinder their movements. Genji here was quite a feat for them to make and let me just say they did an excellent job on him and he looks great. Therefore he is an easy victory. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. Hey you! Thanks for watching! Rate, comment, and subscribe! Where? Right here, not there, right here! You! And thanks for watching! So, rate, comment, and subscribe! Right here, right there, right here! Yeah!